News, Sligo. Aircom Broadband customers who are illegally sharing music could face losing their service from today. The Irish Music Recorded Association is tracking down the IP addresses of those customers and Aircom expects to deal with around 50 illegal downloaders every week. We will find a way. For artists like Gemma Hayes, file sharing online can be a costly way to access music. When my last album, uh, The Hollow of Morning, uh, was put up on the internet as a bit turned, uh, two months before I actually released it myself, uh, so it absolutely broke my heart, you know, compared to previous albums, uh, the sales were actually quite low. Aircom has three quarters of a million broadband customers in Ireland. From today, any of those caught sharing music online runs the risk of having their service disconnected. It follows an out-of-court settlement with four record companies. People who have been stealing product for so long, they have destroyed an industry that has lost over 40 million sales per annum over the last five years. Um, they have stopped reinvestment in new artists. So they're actually affecting the Irish cultural uh, heritage. So yes, I do believe that this is the start of the end. UPC, the second largest broadband provider, isn't giving in, claiming there's no law that requires it to monitor customers. No other country in the world has um, started a policy under, uh, on, on legislative grounds of introducing a three strikes in your out policy. Ireland is something of a laboratory in that instance. Ben Keenan, a film producer, feels the industry needs to move with the times. He plans to leave Aircom. Their money and time will be better invested in setting up a way for people to get things legally and cheaply rather than trying to bully people for downloading things that they uh, that they can't afford or uh, in some cases uh, or that they just can't get at all in this country Make it through these days. and unless a better way is found both musicians and music fans will continue to lose out Sharon Tobin RTE News